for Italian football, I don't think it could possibly be overstated how important, how impactful that this game is going to be, right? For a country that's consistently marginalized along the, in the eyes of the, the football community as a whole. It's the final of the European Championship and Italy hasn't been on the big stage for years. So it means a lot for the Federation, it means a lot for every football player in Italy. Fuck. <laughs> like I had one, I got one game. I said, fuck it, I'm all in. They won the win with the international team. We deserve, we work, we work a lot. Against Austria, people say, yeah, but Austria, uh, they, they didn't have uh, players, uh, they combined. But we were in Austria, we were in Vienna, and we beat them. We don't make excuses. We, we were there. We were ready to beat France. They, they mess up. I don't know. We are here in Sweden. We have nothing to lose. We are the, we are the underdogs. We're fucking ready. We need to back up a little bit here. So for those of you who don't know, I was able to officially become an Italian citizen in 2017 through descendancy from my paternal grandfather. And Nico Bang was actually very instrumental in helping me get that passport because he went to the Italian consulate with me five or six times. And it was a huge hassle doing it. He went every time to translate for me and talk to the people. And so uh, I really owe Nico Bang for that, uh, that I've gotten my passport. But I am officially Italian. Thanks to this guy. Now we can be friends. My grandpa was really excited when I became an Italian citizen. Can you see me? How are you? I am good. I am Italian now. <laughs> That's really great. I had always planned to do that, but never got around to it. Oh, what's your note to do? <laughs> Before he passed away, I told him that if it was possible, I would do everything I could to represent our family and Italy by playing for the Italian national team for American football. And so, I've had the honor of doing just that. So, playing for the Italian national team is a huge honor. It is also very difficult and a lot of sacrifices are made. These national team camps, obviously we're coming from Germany, so we've got to figure out ways how to get to camp. It's not always easy to make it to the camps, especially if you are still in season. For example, right now I'm still in season with the Oslo Vikings in Norway, so I had to leave my team in a really important period of the year. For me personally, I live in southern Italy and all the camps are in the north. It's a lot of time, and if I'm driving there, it's gas, tolls. It's a big sacrifice on the time side of things. We have a job, we have a family, and so trying to connect everything with football. And we are really, really, we have made a lot of and a lot of sacrifices to arrive to this partita and per giocare questa partita. So it's definitely a huge, huge commitment and sacrifice, but it's also one of those things that I've, I found myself and other guys who are in similar situations never really batting an eye at. It's a grind when you're thinking about it and all the stuff you have to do, but once you get there and you see all the guys and you know they all went through the same bullshit of trying to like get everything together to make it to the camp, you're like, all right, we're all in this together. Basta. Ciao guys. There's nothing better than everybody gets there and you know you get to see everybody you see Ale, see Cody, see some of the other guys, and it's just immediately you just you feel better. And you're like, okay, I'm glad I did this, I'm glad I'm here. So we arrived in Milan to begin camp. We're gonna practice that evening, followed by two a days the next day. Let's go, kids. At the hotel. Here, oh, here's uh, Papa yeah, Ale. Go. Yeah. Yep. Going to football yeah. practice. Our, our kids are ready. Uh, Cody, Cody, our kids are ready. Let's go. Kids are ready. And like the travel, the practices weren't without their own unique adversity. So we had a practice Thursday where there was a genuinely ungodly amount of mosquitoes. Like, I, we couldn't, I couldn't, fo we couldn't focus couldn't get a playoff. It was just constantly like, and it wasn't like four or five mosquitoes. It would be like a hundred of them on every single person throughout the entire field. It was 
outrageous. But even with the adversity, the overwhelming experience is positivity and enjoyment. The feeling of the group, of the national, is special because it creates some connections and some friendships that become much more important than all the rest. Ferrari came in here late to practice and to everything and ended up stealing Bruno's bed. And we're holding court right here in the room. The guilty, how do you plead? Guilty, how do you plead? <laughs> Got him! But if I point at the person that I think committed the crime, it's right here. <laughs> I love the camps where you just wake up and you don't have to think about a thing, you just eat breakfast. Go play football, come back. <laughs> hey, hey, what'd you guys do to Enzo? Oh. Eat again, go play football, and then you're just with guys the whole day. Tap, Kev, tap, Kev! Tap, Kev! Oh, oh, let in the gizzle. Nah, nah, that's not how it works. There. You get a 50? I got a 50, All let's right, go. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Saw it in the air, that's all. Coin don't lie. <laughs>
uh, and just rode a scooter around for like three weeks. And I was just trying to figure out what direction things should go in for me. And the same thing just kept coming back. Like I could never replicate the amount of fun and the amount of fulfillment that I got from the sport of football, right? Then I decided that what I was gonna do is I was gonna move to Italy, the place that I always felt the happiest, and I was gonna play football, the thing that made me the happiest. And for the last four years, my entire life has revolved around it. Field. We're going to do a little uh, evening practice after our Full long speed. day with a 4 a.m. wake up, a couple of flights, and uh, we're going to go practice. Here we go. You know, it's a huge honor to represent an entire country for the sport that you play. I've been playing football since I was a little kid, and now I get to represent a country in that sport. That's a huge honor. But even more than that is the relationships and brotherhood that we've formed on this team. and. That's gotta be the best part. This is a, a phenomenal group of guys. And one of my favorite stories from this group of guys is Bruno's, whose long playing career is likely coming to a close. He was cut from the 45-man roster for the semifinal game against France. But incredibly, he battled back and earned himself a spot on the final roster for this championship game. The mentality going into what I think is my last game of 30 years has actually been just really like completely enjoying the process. Like came into the final camp and said, actually, I don't think, I don't think I'll make the team. So like, why not just enjoy these guys coming to practice, enjoy my teammates. And that gave me a different kind of confidence, different kind of enjoyment and really just helped me to, uh, to, to focus and, and have a great time, but then it also made me uh, a better player. When you're small, everyone wants to be part of the Italian national team. In the sense, you play football and as a big you want to be the Italian national team. And to have a particular particular relationship with Non, non giochi per un club, non giochi per i Rhinos Milano, tu non giochi per i Sima Milano, non giochi per Parma, tu giochi per la nazionale italiana. Now, even though we're considered an underdog in the game, I think we have an advantage when it comes to team chemistry. Best part is meeting the people. Like, man, I have friends all over Italy. I have friends in, in the States. Like, because I met them here in the national team. Go. Mike, why are you going through my shit? I didn't find my fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> I, think Bruno, no, I can't confirm it, so I haven't, like, come at him publicly. I love that. Bruno, I love do you have my phone? No, I do not have your phone. I do not have your phone. Every single guy on this team brings something. There's a bunch of characters and just good guys. The group chemistry is something that's pretty special. When you think Bruno did something, you can't direct You have to say, Bruno, at some point recently, did you have my phone to do something with it? Wow, Cody. There we go. <laughs> Cody, Cody's a real vet. Uh, he's he's a, a, a vet of being Bruno. <laughs> Don't worry. Is that it? Oh, I not right there? No, it's uh, mine. It was, uh, I have an extra I mean, three days. Uh, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> you remind me a lot of me in 2017 on the bus to the German Bowl. That is literally For Italian football, I don't think it would possibly be overstated how important, how impactful that this game is going to be, right? For a country that's consistently marginalized along the, in the eyes of the, the football community as a whole, right, to come in and say, not only are we one of the best countries, but right, tomorrow we're going to show that we are the best. Italy is the underdog when it comes to European American football, but we have a lot of talent here. Noi siamo gli underdogs in questa partita, non abbiamo nulla da perdere. Noi dobbiamo entrare in campo, fare il nostro gioco 
e giocare eh, al meglio le nostre possibilità senza avere nessuna pressione dall'esterno. Noi dobbiamo entrare in campo e essere noi stessi senza nessuna pressione e spaccare i culi. Quattro uomini a rasciare. È una finta. Palla profonda di Zaratka. E la ricezione completata. Completata sulle 18 yard. Una grande. Terzo e corto per l'Italia. Ancora quattro uomini per ricevere. Con Diago nello slot. Zaratka nel simile del touchdown. Giorgio Bua. Touchdown Italia. la Svezia in attacco ancora Yulin a chiamare un movimento c'è una motion vada dal running back con tre ricevitori sulla sinistra finta di passaggio c'è un uomo libero che riceve il pallone supera il primo marcatore è un fallor che viene recuperato viene riportato il pallone dalla Svezia attenzione turnover almeno per quanto riguarda il campo poi vedremo che sarà una decisione che non parte ai segnali che turnover lo gioca, eccolo qua la palla per Yulin passaggio corto ed è incompleto incompleto un nomere on down la palla all'Italia detto prima corto di una yard la corta di prima di Malpelia Valli ora Zaratka a lanciare completata ed è un, c'è una strada davanti a lui ma viene fermato da anche un altro Ecco perché la palla è sulle 
Adrian Zaratka, riceve ricezione del touchdown touchdown Italia, touchdown Simone Aminovi una giocata bellissima anche abbastanza semplice nel caso è la prima portata di Corsi che buono guadagno poi arriva Pastorino dalle secondarie senti col numero 17 Nicola Salfieri numero 24 con questo placcaggio compagno di squadra eh, di Pastorino agli Schwabischal Unicorsi ed è ancora una corsa ed è ancora un fumble recuperato dall'Italia recuperato dall'Italia della, della metà campo svedese arriva il pallone Zaratka ha un po' di tempo guarda dritto ricezione per l'Italia e primo down primo down ancora buon anno primo down seconda fine del primo tempo il primo tempo che fino adesso dice tricolore ancora Gentili che si libera di due placcati ed è touchdown touchdown Italia ancora Sneca un Gentili Altro primo down, altro pallone per Zaratka, c'è una motion ancora per lui che decide di tenerla, di passarla, di andare profondo, ricezione meravigliosa di Avinovi, in tutto a volo d'angelo, primo da unità. Gentili al fianco del nostro quarterback. C'è un'azione, c'è il passaggio, c'è il touchdown da parte dell'Italia, da parte del nostro Simone Avinovi, ancora una volta. Touchdown Italia 33 a 0 33 a 0 Half time Team Italy is up 34 to 0 We're gonna keep the foot on the gas Finish this thing Italy is sort of looked down upon in the European football community and so it's pretty incredible that a country with that reputation is now in the European final it's sort of like a hey All right, you can talk about us like this, but look at us now. Like we're in the championship right now. So I think it's it's just a pretty incredible accomplishment that the team is in this final right now. And I think if we're able to pull this off and win the game, I think it will wow a lot of people and be a huge catalyst for Italian football in the future. La Nazionale per me è una famiglia fatta di amici, fratelli, con cui condivido la passione per questo sport e con cui ho vissuto eh, i momenti più belli della mia vita. A alcuni tra i momenti più belli della mia vita, sicuramente dal punto di vista sportivo, ma tante volte anche dal punto di vista proprio personale, perché va oltre il football della nazionale, la, il gruppo della nazionale va oltre lo sport, va oltre il football. Sono tutti ricordi indelebili che rimarranno nel, nella memoria di ogni singolo giocatore che fa parte di questa nazionale. E tutta la fatica, tutti i momenti che investi in questo sport, perché non sono momenti sprecati, sono momenti personali che tu investi in questo sport per far sì di essere il migliore e di vincere, eh, sono tutti momenti indimenticabili. Ed è Victory Formation alle 14 e 54, l'Italia è campione d'Europa! In the mirror now Bring cosmetics to my eyes Left without a doubt
Wake up, get up, get up, stretch my legs, eat some breakfast, milk and eggs, brush my teeth up, wash my face, don't mind. Yeah.